Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just coming up for air and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... How do the lungs work? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a three gallon water container, some balloons, some plastic tubing, some scissors, and some tape. Today, I am gonna show you how to make your very own lung model right at home. And I'm not talking about one of those little pop bottle models either. <laughs> Take two pink balloons and attach those balloons to the T-tube using tape. Cut the plastic tubing to about 30 centimeters in length. Attach the tubing to the T-tube. Now get yourself one of these three gallon water containers and get rid of the water. Use a power saw to remove the bottom of the three gallon container, then cut the top off of a red balloon and stretch this red balloon over the bottom of the container. Now wrap some tape around the tubing to create an airtight seal near the mouth. Now check this out! It's a model of your lungs! Now that's so wicked cool! Oh, and check this out! If I breathe in... My balloons, I mean, uh, my lungs expand. And if I breathe out, my lungs contract. Now that's so wicked cool. So, how does this lung model actually work? And how do lungs get oxygen into our bloodstream? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Respiration or breathing is the process of getting air from outside of your body inside. Your chest is an airtight cavity, so when your diaphragm pulls down, this lowers the pressure on the inside of your chest cavity. And the heavier air outside of your body pushes its way into your lungs, which takes up the space created by the lower pressure. When your diaphragm contracts, it creates more pressure inside your chest cavity than outside, and the air is squeezed out of your body. Without this pressure difference, your diaphragm wouldn't be able to pull down or even push up due to the airtight chamber. Your left lung is smaller than your right lung to make space for your heart. You might think that your lungs are just two big balloons that sit in your chest and fill up with air. Your lungs are actually made up of branches of tubes that split into smaller branches and smaller branches after that. Eventually, these branches end up in microscopic clusters of millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli, which look similar to grapes. These tiny air sacs allow gases to exchange places through diffusion, or the process where gases want to equalize. High amounts of fresh air will want to diffuse into the tiny hair-like capillaries. High amounts of CO2 will diffuse into the alveoli. Without new gases being added to your bloodstream and carbon dioxide being removed, you would suffocate to death. So now you know more about your respiratory system. You know, making a scale model of your lungs is why science is so cool.